Hi everyone, I'm back, Tracy with the Rhapsody Art Barn, and I've been playing with the Retikit for a while now. I did a short video on just opening it up and putting it on uh, the second coat and dragging a wood graining tool across it. So I'm gonna show you now what that piece is looking like, all done, the top, is now wood grained, which turned out pretty cool, I think. If that is the dark wood over the light wood, it's called a rustic finish, according to Retikit. And so I thought that I was real pleased with that. So then I've been working on the drawers, as you can see behind me. So I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna go over doing a drawer. I've done these uh, just a little bit different. I really like the way that they turned out. I kind of made them look kind of like tiger wood, you know, it wasn't, I did use the wood graining tool, but when I was done, I actually kind of drug it while it was still wet and didn't make it look as, as a uh, pine like. I kind of made it look more like a solid piece. So I did all three of the left side drawers and now I'm working on the middle drawer. I did the end of the piece as well. So I thought, well, I'll just pop you back on. So you can watch me work on the drawer. So I've stirred my, my product again. Oops, I got a little bit too much there. And now I'm going to I'm doing the edges on these drawers too as well. So with the liquid wood, the retikit, there are particles of wood in the product, kind of like the patina, the Dixie Belle patina has actual metal in the paint. There's actual wood grain in here. So instead of using a primer or a slick stick around the edges, even though I'm probably gonna paint or glaze that, I am um, putting the retikit right onto the edge because those particles will adhere to whatever you put it onto, be it the top, which was laminate, or this, which is paint and wood, and it will create a paintable surface or a stainable surface if you want to stain. So either way, you can utilize this product, I just am going to use it underneath my paint. I think I'm going to paint it. I'm still not sure. Maybe glaze. I don't know what colors yet. Probably a, I was going to do a lighter piece, but now I'm wanting to do black. So we'll see what my mood is when we get to the painting part. Okay. So I'm making it all even. I can go back around the top and make sure it's coated well, because this is the part that you see. So I want to make sure that this part is really well covered. I think I got it. And and then smooth it all the way down, smooth it, smooth it. Okay, so now what I did was I took the smaller of the tools and I'm gonna clean it off a little bit because it seems to work better when it's not dried on. And I started at one end up and down just like I did on the top. Overlap a little. See it's kind of dragging. That's okay. Not too picky. In fact, I want it pretty, pretty done because then I went back with my brush and I just lightly blended it all together so it didn't look more 
more like uh, big knots and it looked more like kind of a like a tiger wood I don't know that's what I think of so you see it didn't have the the lighter places and then I just let it dry I just think that's so pretty so painting is all about your own style you know find what you like and if I didn't like the wood grain at all, I could just paint it all one solid color. That's fine too. And then stain that. Uh, that's just more of a contemporary look. You can do contemporary or rustic or bleached or, you know, use the different colors that they provide. If you want a bleached look, you'd use their lightest. They have a bleach light color. You could put the light wood color over that and make it a little rustic um, driftwood or you take both the same coat colors and make it smooth and contemporary without any wood grain at all. But that is, um, that is the retiquet. I think it's looking really, really nice. And I'll show you here the side that I did because it'll show the wood grain up close. You might be a little too close, but let me turn you around and look. There's the side, isn't that cool? So I made that more like wood grain, like the top was. But gosh darn, for a vinyl surface to now have that wood grain on it, and it was as easy as painting it, you guys. That's, I mean, probably easier in a way because you don't have to make it perfectly smooth if you wanna do the wood grain. So I just am, thrilled with this product. I think I'm going to start carrying it. I just love it. So um, we'll see how well it takes stain. Uh, I know from other people that it does take the voodoo gel stain that Dixie Bell carries really well. Um, and so I might use some of that. And they also provided me, Retiquet did, with a black walnut. So if I uh, test that out and I like that color, it's not too dark, then I might use that. Maybe if I do a, hmm, if I do a white with the black walnut, or not even white, but just something sandbar and lighter, uh, then I'll use the darker on the top. Or maybe if I do a black, I'm not gonna want a black top too. So maybe I'll do a um, voodoo gel stain on that. We'll just see. I'm going to play around with it, but I really like it. Thumbs up. Thanks for Ticket for the little um, kit, and I'm going to enjoy playing around with it. So check me out on Facebook. You can find my links below. Like and subscribe to this channel if you want more tips and tricks about using this product and Dixie Bell products or the Would You Bend um, or just refinishing things. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.